So on this one, what's great is that we have three terms. All of them have a common multiple of two, which means I can factor out two from each of the terms. Make that a little bit bigger. Two. And then on the inside, I've got uh, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and I've still got my x squared. Minus 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 3x. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, so um, that 2 is going to remain throughout the problem. I mean, not necessarily that we have to show it until the end, but I'm going to keep it there just so I don't forget. So I've got my a value 4 and my b value, uh, c value rather, which is negative 1. So 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. I need two factors of negative 4 that add up to negative 3. So I'm going to use negative 4 and 1, because when I add them, I get negative 3. So my negative 3 is going to split up into those two factors, the negative 4x plus the 1x. And I've still got my 4x squared and the minus 1. Does everyone see how I split that up? So that's going to allow me to factor by grouping. So the 2 remains. And I've got a big set of parentheses now. In the first two numbers here, it appears that I can factor out a 4x. And that leaves me with an x minus 1. And then we're going to add that to, well, I'm going to factor out a 1 from that 1x minus 1, which leaves me with an x minus 1. Now, the only reason I'm showing this one is because I'm going to need to show it when I factor out that x minus 1. Okay, there needs to be something there. And anything multiplied by 1 is itself, so we're in good shape on that one. So I've got 2, and inside this parentheses, well, not that big. I should have two sets now. I'm going to factor out an x minus 1, but on the inside of the parentheses, on the second one, I have a 4x that's left over, and we're just adding 1 to that. And that's as far as this one looks like it will go.